Today I'm going to show you how to make the albums that go into the box we've been creating. We've been making lidded boxes with acrylic on top. I put magnets from a holiday in it. The inside can be decorated more. Everything could be decorated more, but I thought I'd get, rid, get done the boxes first before decorating. For the inside, you have to decide if it's a landscape page or a portrait page. So like on the horizon or upright. The one I'm going to demonstrate is the upright. You need seven pages and one four by four and a quarter by six and a quarter paper. Yesterday I tried to do this and my video failed. So I already have two pages put together, but I thought I would show you how it goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Now I like to cut the corners of my attached pages, which are scored twice, once at a half inch and once at a quarter inch. So I just angle them and that makes them easier or not stick out when you make your accordion album. You can, you, I've already scored and you can burnish. A Teflon tool works best for burnishing because it doesn't leave marks on black paper. I'm gonna just take the time and burnish all of these so they're ready to go. Sometimes I miss the score and I have a double line. It's okay, it won't show. So just rescore in the position you want. Double sided tape will hold it immediately in place, and tacky glue will make it very permanent. Now, that little quarter inch is so that you can put not only a photo here, but even other things if you'd like. And your single page goes last. Okay, so I have two pages together. I'm gonna to take my third page, and I don't want this to be on the same side. I want it to be reversed because it's an accordion book, and we wanna go back and forth. So I'm going to remove my tape liner cover, add a little bit of tacky glue. You don't want it to ooze out, so a little is operative word. You can even spread it out so it's almost turns gray. Nothing a baby wipe can't handle. Now take your next page, and the, this time the adhesive is upright, go to the score line, the first score line, and then just fold down. There we go. Fold down over, and if you want, you can fold, burnish the other side too. Okay, continuing on, my next page, don't want it the same direction. I want, if I have an adhesive here, adhesive here, just flip it. And then it'll be alternating pages. You won't even have to worry about where the fold goes when you open your accordion book. Now the size of these pages started with a four and a half, no, a four and a quarter by six and a quarter final size. So all I did was on one side, this time on the longest side, I added three quarters of an inch. For the landscape pages, 
I added it three quarters of an inch to the short side. So for portrait, you add it. To the long side. And if you see any extra glue, you can wipe it off. Okay, so I don't want it up like that. I want it down like that. Okay, so I'm just going to lay it here. So I guess this way they're both up because they're going to be reversed. And you're going to do this six times. I always have trouble getting off the covers of my double-sided tape. I've tried different tools. I find a little knife, exacto knife works well. I'm adding tacky glue. So dry nice and firm. These books will probably get a lot of handling. Bring it up to the half inch score line and fold over. And sort of like shampoo, rinse, repeat, <laughs> lather. <laughs> But it's glue. <laughs> Fold over and repeat. are all my scored pages and what I have left is oh I have one more score page you have four on one side three on the other what I will have left is just a regular four and a quarter by six and a quarter page and we'll treat it the same way as far as the adhesive goes. Go up to the score line, fold over, burnish it, wipe off any excess glue. And I had a little bit too much glue in this one, so I'll just Dab it off with a baby wipe. Okay, for the last page, I'm going to add a flat four and a quarter by six and a quarter. Now, when I learned this from Claire Chevelle, she used smaller pages that the total size was four by six, but I want a full four by six photo to fit on these with a little black edge. So I just added it. A quarter inch to both sides. So this is just a plain flat piece of paper, four and a quarter by six and a quarter, going up to the score line and folding over. I'm a little heavy on this glue. It's a new bottle, it comes out too easy. <laughs> nice there. Okay, I now have an accordion book ready for covers. Now the covers, this, at this last page, I don't have it quite firmly on yet. Give it time to adhere. Okay. My covers have my creative spirit tape on the, all four edges, and then I put a lot of double-sided tape. I'm going to remove the covers. I 
And just like my pages, I'm going to add tacky glue. Before I attach these covers to my accordion page to give it some substance, um, I'm going to put some ribbon so that it has a closure on both the front and the back side of the album. You could use a belly band, you can use thinner ribbon, um, your choice. For the tacky glue, I like to put it in all four corners and at least do it on the part that does not have the double-sided tape on it. And then I just add a few dots for good measure. I want these covers to stay on nice and tight. For the page, remember it's going upright. I'm going to add, let's see, this is six, six and a quarter, so right around the three line. I'm just going to put a bit of tacky glue and then put a piece of ribbon on it and I'm also going to adhere some double sided tape. And this is just making sure that ribbon isn't going anywhere. And it's under the cover, so it shouldn't tear either. Take off my covers of the double-sided tape. Oh, now look, I made a mistake. I saw the black of the fold. I'm going to remove this one because it's too close to the edge. Remember, I want at least an eighth of an inch leeway. So let me take this one off and I'll overlap it a little. So I'm going to leave an eighth of an inch of my edge. The cover is actually going over this, so I could have got away with that, but just for safety. I want it to look nice and uniform. Now, even on this page, I'm going to put just a dot of glue in my corners. And then I put the two together. Put the hard page on top of the soft page. And they're the same finished size. So I just line it up on the edge. And that's my cover. Burnish it down gently. And I will repeat that for this side. I'm not going to repeat it just now. I just want to give you an idea for covers. So here's one that's finished. And here is the other direction. And our boxes, I used the digital paper and I sized it so it fit under the cover. And I'm thinking, I'm probably going to add another color to it, but I'm thinking for the uprights to use that same photo and maybe a flag on the opposite one. And I might add a background paper. So there'll be one more video, <laughs> this little project. And I'm going to add doodads to the ends of my tape, um, ends, of, ends of my ribbons. I'm going to decorate them. And then I will put photos in both, both of them. And two will fit very nicely in a box. I hope you decide to make some of these storage boxes for albums. It's a lot of fun. Have a great day and God bless.